It's April, we're gonna dive into mineral and the quality minerals that you guys need to be looking for and what you can do if mineral is not legal in your state. I've said it before, you'll hear me say it again, I will continue to say it. Help the deer do what deer want to do. importance of mineral is something I've gone over before, but I'm just, we're going to touch on it. We're not going to spend a lot of time on it of why you need to have it in your management plan if it's legal in your state. Um, bucks have shed their antlers. They're starting antler development for this coming season. Um, you know, there's a lot of, we're going to be getting into heat stress during the hot summer days. Does are, they're going to be dropping fawns here in a month, you know, maybe a little more. So it's, it's really important to have those does you know, really, really in great condition for when those fawns come uh, in regards to lactation, getting the fawns off to a great start. It's just a whole herd management plan. Um, you know, we focus on deer season so much, but deer season starts in the off season. So that's why. Um, where? So I put mineral sites in locations that I can access easily that is not intrusive on my hunting property. I don't go in and put a mineral site clear in the middle of a bedding area and then put a churro camera on it because that causes you know extreme intrusion and causes the deer to have uh, to feel threatened and pressured and move out. I want those deer early on feeling very safe, very comfortable in my designated sanctuaries. So close to food plots, honestly a great spot is a spot you can drive up to and not necessarily even have to get out to check your cameras. Or if you're using cell cameras, maybe you can you know push that just a little bit further. But a mineral site is not something that is you know, designed to be a draw for deer in regards to actually, you know, shooting and harvesting an animal. This is a herd health tool. So, you know, maybe on the edge of a food plot, but just think about this in regards to your trail cameras as well. Okay, you know, I wanna put a trail camera here. Think about intrusion on, as that aspect as well. What to look for in your mineral. Guys, don't look for, don't, don't buy just some cheap, whatever product look for something that has quality there's several great companies out there that have really done their due diligence in regards to the products that they put in they are you know the companies that are, are focusing on herd health it's not too hard to figure out which ones those are so take your time do some research look for ones that are don't have a high salt content um, and charge for that. Look for a product that has really key nutrients in it, the phosphorus, the zinc, the so on and so forth. Look for those in your mineral. So we've covered mineral. Now, if mineral is not legal in your state, what can you do about it? Guys, we're gonna cover that. It's okay. We don't have a fix all, but we have something that can be very, very important in your herd management plan to go ahead and get nutrients to into your deer. So nutrient uptake is obviously vitally important to animals. And we touched on mineral. If you can't do mineral, what can you do? Guys, we're gonna be supplementing mineral via a food plot. Um, right here, we're planting a clover plot right here on Aaron's farm. And we're, we did our soil samples. Guys, last month's Building Whitetails episode was on soil sampling. Hopefully you guys pulled your samples, sent them to the lab. Hopefully you're getting your results back right about now. Um, the nutrients right here on this plot are pretty darn good, but we're gonna be adding just a little bit more to it. Some phosphorus and some potassium and zinc. Everything else was in pretty good shape. So we're gonna, we're gonna, we worked the ground once. We're gonna work it one more time or we're gonna go ahead and broadcast our clover in. Clover, the main hype about clover is frost seeding, and I attribute that because it's really the first thing after deer season that guys, you know, can do food plot wise, and, and a bunch of people go out and frost seed, and then clover's completely forgotten about, and it shouldn't be. Alfalfa is being planted right now. The month of April is very, um, for spring planting alfalfa, is, is kind of the month to do it. You can even do it first into May. Um, but April is really optimal. And clover is of the same family. So we're, it's April, we're planting a clover plot right now. It's not a bad time to do uh, clover planting whatsoever. You can do it spring, you can do it fall. We're doing a spring plant right now to transfer more nutrients throughout the summer via the clover to the deer herd. So that's a wrap on this episode. Guys, in February's episode of Building White Tails, uh, I went over the runway set, I went over location and how I was gonna hunt it. May's episode, next month, we're gonna do the same thing over this food plot and how we're gonna hunt it this fall.